You spent 16 years in the US and you actually studied in Harvard. But then, bros, you not came back to Nigeria. What inspired that move and why, you know? Um, coming back home has always been um, a desire that I wanted to do. Um, being living in the United States for over 16 years, I felt that it was time for me to come home and, you know, pay a little bit of my own intellect into the industry that I've grown so much. I remember 2004 when we formed the Nollywood USA that we brought all the Nollywood actors to the States, uh, myself, Tony Abulu, and a whole lot of others. It was interesting how they, we felt that, you know, we could give more. But you could, only, you could give more better in your own country yeah. where you're more accepted. And coming back to Nigeria has been um, an eye-opener. And so it's awesome to be back home. It's awesome to be doing what I love to do, which is um, creating content and putting a smile on people's face. Yes, I love the fact that you said, you know, you love to create content and put uh, smiles on the faces of people. I'm guessing that's how uh, Soldier Story was born. Even though I didn't smile, I was more like trembling in fear. Like, it was so gripping. I love, love Soldier Story. Uh, yeah, but I want to hear from you, so. Well, Soldier Story, coming back, we already had a plan that it was going to be uh, a franchise movie. So the first one, the Soldier Story, and the second one is the Soldier Story Return from the Dead, and there's a third one. So it's a little different from what we were used to, but we want to make sure that if we're going to be showing Nigerian people an action flick, it has to be done right and done well. And uh, good to people like... Uh, uh, it was it was done well. Olumide, Olumide, like, Olumide. Why did you sign on to Soldier Story? What drew you to that script? Uh, I feel like just the fact that my character wasn't necessarily Nigerian. Oh, um, yes, yeah, yeah. So that, that, that felt like a challenge for me, so I was yeah. definitely looking forward to playing that. And then just the, the, the entire story was just very different. So just to be part of something that I felt long term would be history making, mm. that was that was in our soul at that point. Ah, science will deliver. And you were so young in that movie. You, yeah, you, in part you, one, you yeah. You looked like 13. I mean, I like, like, I like the idea of the franchise thing, like uh, Oga Martin said. So now you've just said in part one, meaning part two has been made. Yeah. How excited were you when you heard that they were going to make part two? No, I'm just happy that my character made it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right? like, thank you for not leaving me in part one. <laughs> you weren't in it stuck. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> so that that was good. Um, and then I feel like being part of a franchise series as well allows my character some growth. Yes. So it's more like a different angle to Edwin that people are going to see in part two. Really? Yes. Well, Olimide, one thing about you that we really love is your growth. Uh, safe to say that you're a veteran of 25. Sure, you know that. You could, but you statistically. Are yes, because I mean, you started. <laughs> Your first on-screen appearance it was at age six. Yes. So yes. officially, you've been 16 years in Hollywood. Hey, veteran. 19, actually. One, two, three. Yes, yes, 19 yeah. years. Yeah. How dare you correct me? <laughs> who are you? Who be you? Who, who are you? Veteran, Who you be? Veteran, oh, veteran. So yeah. me, we are miniature. <laughs> Almost veteran. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. Shut up.